Welcome back. Now, part of the process in working with Amazon SVS is going to be making sure that your content is such that your emails will be deliverable. You'll be avoiding hard bounces. So you want to make sure that everything that you're writing, everything that you're putting in your email is going to be well within the acceptable use policy. And basically what Amazon is really looking for is that you're not trying to deceive anyone, that you're not trying to do a bait and switch, is that your email is delivering exactly what it says it's going to. Anything that you're doing with the email that's going to be transactional or notification, it should be specific. So it really should comply to whatever it is that they bought or wherever it is that they have opted into. Those emails should be specifically for that. Doesn't mean that you can't use a link to sell in those emails. However, it really should be the bulk of the content about what it is that they've opted into. You want to note that Amazon system is going to scan your email before it goes out. So it's going to be looking to find anything that really looks for common spam patterns in your content. So you want to take note of that. This is what happens when some users find that Amazon may suspend their account because after scans, their emails do not meet the acceptable use policy. What you want to do, and this is the point of this video, is you will need to set up some email addresses and you want to set these email addresses so that you'll be able to test to find out whether or not the emails you're sending out are going to be going into spam boxes whether or not they're going to be going into promotional tabs whether or not they're going to be hitting the inbox and so you want to set up these email addresses with the most popular cloud-based services so that you can check them easily email addresses from gmail from aol from yahoo from Microsoft and any other service that you know is popular, you're going to be able to send out the email so that you'll be able to check these boxes on a regular basis. If you can, every email that you send out, you want to make sure that those emails are going into the inboxes of these popular services. You want to note what happens when the email is sent to these boxes. You want to note what kind of category it's being placed in. And you want to note how consistently you're making the inbox. You want to try, of course, not to use any common spam words in your content. And then if you can, you want to avoid using the same link in your email multiple times. Length can be a factor, but it's not always going to be a factor. So it doesn't matter if you leave your emails and you make them really long. It doesn't necessarily mean that your email is not going to be considered to be spam. Make sure that you're testing any brand name and any popular titles before you send out. And so anything that you've seen in the news that people are talking about, that people are building business opportunities around, make sure you test those brand names in your email before you send them out. And of course, the other thing you want to do is use testing sites, and we'll be talking about that in a separate video. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.